Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ungil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report comes from Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire. Both countries are boycotting the meeting that is being held in Brussels. The Cocoa Sustainability Meeting hosted by the World Cocoa Foundation in Brussels is being boycotted by Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana. Authorities in the two West African countries accuse multinational chocolate companies and traders of blocking measures to improve cocoa farmers' incomes. This follows recent measures taken by the Ghanaian government to improve the financial positions of the country's cocoa farmers. This includes a cocoa farmers pension scheme and an increase in the cocoa producers price to 21 percent. This is an incredible news because the farmers are always the ones suffering. They don't get like a fraction of whatever this huge companies, multinationals get. And unfortunately, nothing has been done about it thus far. But now Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire are actually, you know, saying something this is a clear message when you're boycotting the meeting for coco uh, they call it um, sustainability meeting it's a big deal they are literally saying that we don't agree with this and we're not gonna go along with this which is perfect because Cote d'Ivoire is the largest producer of cocoa and Ghana is the second largest so these two countries contribute to the majority of chocolate and products we consume how interesting is it that the farmers don't get money off of it yes they do but very little they are living under the poverty line the farmers ideally should be one of the richest people maybe in that country but the truth is they are living under the poverty line just imagine this you are a cocoa producer and the world consumes chocolate the world gets it from you, you are poor, but the multinationals are crazy, insanely rich. It's just not fair at all. So it's really great to see this country's taking a step forward and not allowing to be pushed around because right is right, wrong is wrong. And what is happening to the farmers is not right. And it's not just about cocoa, even coffee. If you hear the stories of these poor farmers, you'll be so shocked. Like the, the same coffee beans will be bought and sold in Starbucks and all those high-end coffee shops or supermarkets. The price never goes down but the farmers never see that money. It's unfair, it needs to change right away. And I believe Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana are doing the right thing. They deserve to be appreciated for the step forward and hopefully they won't change their minds, they won't be bullied into you know, changing their minds and stand up for what is right. Anyways fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about the story we just talked about. I am Ongel Zalalem, I'll see you on the next one, bye. Hey brothers, I want to tell you about a website called blackmenszone.com. Now, Black Men Zone is a site that specifically targets black men. It's a place where black men talk about issues that solely affect them. Now, at Black Men Zone, the topics will range from news to society, sports, technology, business, food and recipes, you know, some you know, you know brothers got to cook too. Gaming, and some of your brothers like doing some of that. Health and fitness, you know, got to get your workout on. Music, movies, and many other topics. Now, there's not many forums around these days for black men, and because black men have to create them. Now, this particular website is more of a forum based, something simple, not social media. You can write what you need to write, say what you need to say, get on, get off pretty quick. But if you're interested, brothers, to at least go there and I want you to check it out, engage in the topics, go to blackmenzone.com, sign up for an account, and get engaged in the conversation.